The following is a paid advertisement. The views expressed are the sole responsibility of the advertiser. I'm attorney Justin Clark. Coming up just ahead on You Have Real Estate, the kids from the kindergarten class at St. Peter's are here to tell us what are they looking for in a house. Do you have to spend a lot of money to make them happy? I don't think so. It's all just ahead. It's You Have Real Estate. Your debt does not have to control your life. You have the power to potentially lower or even eliminate your debt. I'm attorney Justin Clark. Call me now for a free consultation or visit youhavepower.com and take back control of your financial life. You Have Real Estate is proudly sponsored by Renewal by Anderson, your full-service window and door replacement company. Learn more at rbafla.com. Welcome to You Have Real Estate, as always, presented by our great friends at Renewal by Anderson. I am your host, attorney Justin Clark. Whether you're a first-time home buyer, seasoned investor, or even looking to sell your home, this next 30 minutes is designed just for you. Think of it like hitting multiple open houses, all from your living room, with my attorney advice throughout the way. Any questions whatsoever during the program, the phone number will be right here. 407-205-0400. Maybe you want to start your house hunt for your dream home this weekend. Dallas Lehman is standing by to get you pre-approved. Same phone number. We have an amazing show lined up for you today. You will not want to miss a single second. But first, the opening statement. You know, I talk to a lot of you as you go out on that house hunt. And the first thing that you always say is, Justin, I want to buy a house that my kid is going to like. I want to buy a house that my children will love. What is important to your children when it comes to buying your house? Is it spending $100,000 on a pool? Is it safety? What is most important to your children? The great news for you today is I have the amazing kindergarten class from St. Peter's here, Miss Barber's class, and I have what's important to them. And I think that life is a little bit more simple sometimes than we're making it when it comes to buying this house, because really at the end of the day, the kids want you. They want safety, they want comfortability, and they want you. We are going to answer the question, what do your children want when it comes to buying a new house by asking real questions? Every weekend here on the program, we ask real questions to the trend-setting people in Central Florida's real estate community. We kick it off today. Return visitor, great friend from Renewal by Anderson, Chelsea's here. Chelsea, welcome back. How oh, are you? Thanks. I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. You got it. And to my right, Mikhail Nichols joins me. I thought this would be good because sometimes when it comes to a house, I don't know that dudes make the best decisions when no. it comes to children I, I, and when it comes know, to safety. So I, I, I wanted try. you here as well. <laughs> Michaela, welcome to the show. Thanks. You're normally on Best of Central Florida I with am. me. You don't often visit this set. Glad no. to have you. Well, thanks for the invite. I appreciate it. You got it. So let's talk about safety first. I have the list of what the kids from St. Peter's really want here. We'll get to that in a minute. But I do want to talk about safety. And I think that as homeowners, Chelsea, mm -hmm. we are missing the boat on something that is very important when it comes to the safety of our house, and that is the windows. Why are windows so important when it comes to the safety of our homes? When you're really thinking about those aspects of what's on your first floor, right? Sometimes we look at, oh, we have first floor, second floor. What's on your first floor? Are the windows even lockable? Are they secure? Can they even be open when there is an emergency and you have to get out of those windows? We're seeing as the homes get older, the windows then have a degradation and they stop working properly. I totally agree. And, and by the way, parents out there, you are a homeowner and you're worried about your windows or the safety of your children. I have a QR code on the screen right now that will t connect you directly to Renewal by Anderson and they'll give you all this information. They'll come out and, and inspect your windows and see what's really going on and, and tell you what you can do to improve the window safety in your house. Now, it's from my perspective, when I think of windows, I immediately think, my electricity bill because the electricity bills throughout Florida have skyrocketed yes. over the last really year and a half. And what people don't recognize often is that the electricity bills are skyrocketing because the windows are old. How mm -hmm. do new windows really help my electricity bill? That energy envelope, just making sure that it's secure, right? Oftentimes the older windows are having seal failure. There's gaps. I know many of us can say we walked by our window and felt either the cold coming in or the hot coming in. And oftentimes that energy envelope not being properly closed or with inefficient windows 
is why these energy bills are going through the roof. Yeah, and I also think about old windows and mm -hmm. some of these old windows literally you lift them up and they they won't even stick and, and they'll fall <laughs> no. right down and they're ugly and they're <laughs> ugly as they're well ugly. but that becomes they're a safe, safe. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it becomes a safety hazard i think for our children when you when you think about the windows smashing down and, and not think about well, that it, it, but it's true it yeah. happens i see it happen how do you change that at, at mm -hmm. renewal by anderson when it comes to the safety of the windows just not coming down and smashing our hands they're definitely custom made and they have just a high level proprietary product called Fibrex that allows it to be two times stronger than vinyl or any other product out there. So not only are they going to be very modern with the modern technology to make sure that we're not having that issue, but also it has an anti-pick system, a lock system, where a burglar can't come in and actually pick that lock and get in. Yeah. Hang on, wait, so people can't just break in? Because like as a woman, you know, sometimes when you live alone, safety is your main concern. Absolutely. I mean, for me, it definitely is, so they can't just break in. No, it's anti-pick, um, it's very safe, it has an interlocking system that locks the windows down. Um, we have different types of windows, right? So maybe there are certain ones that you want to customize because it is your son or daughter and, and that, that child in that room. Maybe it's uh, facing the pool. Uh, we were just talking about that earlier, and, and you don't, in the middle of the night when it looks really fun and, you know, your floaties mm. out there, you don't want that window to be able to be open. We have special locks that we can install that only allows that window to open a certain amount as well. That's huge. And uh, yeah. your mother's here in the studio right now as well, so I don't know how deep you want to go into this, but... You snuck out a few times when just you were young, younger as well, right? Way to call me out. I'm just Maybe saying. Maybe she didn't know. Did, she did didn't you know. know? You've been busted well. already. We can talk about it on broadcast television. <laughs> it is a it is a thing. It is a thing. It is a thing. Don't it's get fun. any idea. Do you, do you put the chimes on the windows because I think that's what maybe yeah, busted me. You probably should. Yeah. But that, I think that's what you're saying. That was literally not only are, are these new windows protecting us from intruders coming in. It also helps us with children going out. Absolutely. Uh, and that is a huge deal. I think there are parents out there as well who who probably know, or maybe they don't even know that they do need new windows, but they're thinking about it and they say, you know, the economy hasn't been great for us or, or, or whatever it is. And, and they think that windows are not affordable for them. I know because I've talked to so many people who have called you. It is affordable. They are affordable. Absolutely. And you don't have to do the whole project at the same time. You can phase your product, a project. So the, maybe the front is where you're having the biggest concern. Mm -hmm. Then you take care of the front. We have great financing options. We have affordable plans for you. But it really allows you to get that project done that's necessary for the safety of your home and the energy efficient level as well. Yeah, and I've talked to Dan about it as well because there are a lot of no interest programs where you can pay yes. over time. But what we've noticed with people who have called in to this show is when they look at the savings on the electricity bill yes. versus what they're paying per month for the window, mm -hmm. sometimes it's a net positive yes. as well. So we're essentially getting free windows for you to make your house safe, to make your house prettier. Think about the feeling when you pull into the driveway and your whole house has brand new windows. It's aesthetically pleasing as well. Great it word. Is. It is aesthetically it pleasing. Is. I know aesthetic. Who doesn't aesthetic. love like a beautiful I don't know home. if I can spell it. Yeah, no one can. <laughs> they're beautiful. And the other thing, they're custom made. So mm -hmm. maybe your HOA um, is very particular about the color, right? Since they're custom made, we can have a different color on the inside Perfect. than the outside. So if you like that black chic color Girl of frame <laughs> inside, which is the trend today, uh, really consider renewal by Anderson. Outside of safety, what is something that makes people finally realize and pull the trigger that they need new windows? I think the aspect of being able to open them, being able to close them, yeah. making sure that they lock properly, making sure they have that style they're looking for. Oftentimes we're one of the only companies that can do historical homes, mm. wow. right? We're, we're able to match that architectural design and feel because our windows aren't just in a warehouse pulled out. They're custom made for you. You can choose the glass type, the Perfect. actual hardware, and really the style and we have every style you can imagine. I love it. I also think about being in an older home where I've ridden out a few hurricanes and just mm -hmm. you can hear the shaking of the windows, but it's then also being scary. in a newer home that has had Renewal by Anderson come there, 
you feel more you just feel more safe yeah. during a, a major storm. We heard a really great testimony from one of our clients that said, "It's like having cataract surgery for my home." <laughs> oh, I because love that. for years she had her blinds closed. She could never look out the back door or the back windows because they were it was so hot. The heat would be just really burning her up and she said, "Now I can open up the blinds and enjoy my backyard for the first time." Wow. It's huge. That That's is what huge. it's about. Huge. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. Well, Michaela, thank you for joining us for Absolutely. this segment. I appreciate it. Chelsea, always a pleasure thank to see you. you. Come back and see us soon, thank please. Thank you so much. The QR code is right here or call the phone number on the screen. N windows are such an important part of your house. They've made it at Renewal by Anderson so easy to get new windows and so affordable for you. Safety, aesthetically pleasing all the way around your resale value of your house. There's really a, it's a no lose situation for you. Reach out to them today. I love my friends at Renewal by Anderson. Here's what we will do. As you know, Vivian Lehman has been taking a tour of Central Florida this year. Today, a city that I know well, Longwood, Florida, as you have real estate continues. 2023 has come and gone. I know on your list of things to do was get my roof inspected. You see leaks coming in or your roof has just gotten old. 2024 is the year to do that. One place to turn is my good friends at Universal Roof and Contracting, joined by Justin and Corey. Happy New Year, guys. Happy New Year. You too. You did my roof last year and they did such a great job. QR code is here on the screen, by the way. If you have any roof leaking or if your roof is old, you need to have someone look at it today. You're not just roofers, you're general contractors, which really saved the day on my house. What difference does that make? A huge difference. It's really, it makes us a one-stop shop. If there's anything on a structural level or anything beyond the roof line that needs to be handled as a, as a point of doing the roof, um, we can actually handle that circumstance in real time with real solutions and not have you to take back over and get other GCs involved to handle that. Um, so really it just gives us, makes us very versatile and it allows us to open up a huge book of services to make sure all your best needs are met. A lot of roofing companies gone out of business getting bought up right now and they're doing that because when they get the phone call, they literally don't go to the person's house. They get mm. an aerial photo of the roof and you, they call up and say, okay, we're gonna put a new roof on. Not your strategy at all. Not at all, it just happened yesterday with yeah. me. Yeah, the homeowner was surprised I showed up and, uh, and I'm glad I did because there were so many little intricacies about the roof that had to be addressed to make a proper scope of work. So we're big believers in showing up. Uh, doing a proper inspection, making sure that we're going to address everything. So there's no surprises on the back end. With my house, we were able to file an insurance claim. Thanks to you guys, really. You helped me through that process. Sometimes you can't file an insurance claim. For the people who have to pay, you have payment plans available that make it really simple. Absolutely. Uh, financing is a real thing out there. It's a useful tool. It's a way for us to not only get your roof done, completed, but you can defer all your money issues until the next year uh, and then we can still get your roof done in real time. Thank you guys for all you did for me, all you've done for our audience here. Do yourself a favor. Check out Universal Roof and Contracting right now. Welcome back to the show. We continue talking about when you buy a house, you want to buy a house that your child's going to love. What do they love? $100,000 pool, the huge mansion. I actually have what your children are looking for right here from the kids at St. Peter's kindergarten class. And these things are simple, guys. These things are not very expensive purchases for you. My playroom, that's what Mila said, my daughter. My playroom, my mom's room because it's cozy. The white chair in my living room where I practice my words. These things don't cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. These things are what makes your home home for your children. My bedroom, my living room, my room, my playroom. I don't see a $100,000 movie room listed here at all. I think we can keep things simple when it comes time to buying a house. We want our children happy. This is what makes them happy. Not you spending hundreds of thousands of dollars. Speaking of spending money on a house. There's a city that I know well, 32750 and 32779. That's how well I know it. And it's called Longwood. As you know, this year we are sending Vivian Lehman out into the neighborhood. Let's go to Longwood right now with Viv's in your neighborhood. Hi, we're touring Longwood today. It's a sprawling city just 20 minutes north of downtown Orlando, flanking the I-4 corridor on both sides. It's home to great neighborhoods, Wakaiva Springs Park, golf courses, and a really cool painted bike trail, which sits right behind me. There are some notable local restaurants. I'm gonna share one of my favorites, Terra Mia. 
an Italian restaurant with old world flavors and a go-to for many in Orlando. We will chat with Rosario Spagnolo, owner and chef, and ask why he decided to relocate his restaurant to this area and what his ingredients for success are. Longwood, I thought at the time, back in the 94, yeah, there was a market for a good Italian restaurant and uh, that's how we took it from, you know, long time ago, <laughs> almost 30 years ago. Yeah, yeah. This is lunchtime and it's always busy. It's always busy, yeah. We are, God, yeah, we've been blessed, yeah. And so yeah. the recipes, do they come from family recipes? Or? Family recipes from back home in Italy, Naples. And most of the times, you know, you know, we, we always try to experiment with the new product and the freshest that we can get our hands on. People love this area, not only for its easy commute to Orlando, but it's home to one of the better school districts in Seminole County. The median price was 439,000 in 2023, and the average household income is about 85,000. People are also drawn to the diverse range of activities. There's a community which I'm in, and it's called the Springs, and it surrounds and highlights the little Wakaiva River. Around the bend, they created Wakaiva Island, and it's there to attract the water enthusiasts. You can rent canoes, or you can paddleboard through the clear spring water, have a pint at the brewery, or browse through their general store. If you're interested in viewing or purchasing something in Longwood, don't hesitate to call 407-205-0400. Thank you, Vivian. Excellent job. And Vivian joins me now here. Hi, Viv. How are you? Hello. How are I you? I like this segment. I really do. You're, you're doing great at it. Are I'm you having, enjoying doing I it or not? Absolutely am. I absolutely am. I keep waiting on you to yell at me for sending you out, but you <laughs> seem to like it so far. Yeah. Good deal. And also joined by Jennifer Adams, LPT. Hi, Jennifer. Yes, how are hello. you? Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. And you actually have a listing in Longwood. I, I, I like to, when we visit a city like that, I like to see, okay, what's really on the market there right now? You have Stonebridge Drive in Longwood. Where is this property? This property is located in the beautiful community of Sweetwater, um, right over near Wakaiva Springs yep. and Wakaiva Park. I love so it. So it's within biking distance. 32779. If you haven't yes. been over to the Sweetwater area, for some reason I feel transformed into a different part of Orlando altogether. I almost feel like I'm on vacation when I go up that way, you know, Viv? Absolutely. And in my segment, we went to the Springs, which is really a cool community too. Yes. Yeah. Because it's centered around that, you know, Wakaiva Springs. And then yeah. you can literally take that river, the little river, and then take it to Wakaiva Island, which is cool. It's yes. old Florida for sure. You've yeah. got Wakaiva Island, which is kind of like restaurant, and, yeah. you know, beverages type of place mm -hmm. and you get on the canoes you try to avoid alligators if you're me of course <laughs> but it's just it's a place i tell you when when people come from out of town to visit i like to take them there mm -hmm. because it really is old florida and something just cool for them to see yeah if you'd like to see this property jennifer would be happy to show it to you all you have to do is call the phone number on the screen 407-205-0400 Zero, zero. How would you compare the prices on real estate in Longwood versus, say, Winter Park? I would say that Longwood is definitely more affordable. Um, but at the same time, you're getting all of the luxury and all of the... Um, it's, it, it's no, it's it, it's close as well. Yes, you think about, and it's very close. Yeah, you think about driving down I-4, it's... Uh, Winter Park, Maitland, yep. uh, Altamont, Longwood, it's, it's right there. And then Lake Mary. And even Lake Mary, it's, it doesn't feel far away. And Longwood's even right. closer than that. Right. I think Longwood is a, is a great city, maybe underestimated city, with Seminole County Schools. And, mm -hmm. and really, it's Absolutely. a great place to live. How is LPT treating you? I love LPT. LPT I see a lot of them wonderful. over there. Yeah? Yes, yes. I How love. long have you been with LPT? I have been with them um, just about a year. Oh, good. Yes. It's a, a blowing up real it estate brokerage Very for cool. sure. I, I like Robert and the whole whole team over there. Uh, excellent. Jennifer, come back and visit us soon. Absolutely. We really appreciate you being Thank here. You. Great house. Someone's going to pick that one up for I sure. Hope so. <laughs> Vivian, you keep up the good work out there. I, I didn't know you were try. so good at camera work, uh, on air person. You're, every, you're, 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 you're <laughs> everything. It's, it's <laughs> wonderful. Uh, keep up the good work. Here's what we will do a very quick break when we return children right we talk about home ownership versus renting all the time and, and you say justin i just want to rent who cares about home ownership why should i buy a house you can talk about financials all you want what you should really focus on is when you buy a house you're likely going to stay there for many years which means your children are going to grow up in the same house likely go to the same school 
If you can't buy here, what should you do? Look no further than Ocala as you have real estate continues. Have you been threatened by the IRS? You are not helpless. You have the power to fight wage garnishments and fight levies on your accounts. I'm Justin Clark. Call me now for a free consultation or visit youhavepower.com and take back control of your financial life. So fitness to me is super important, but I've got to be honest, I'm a busy person, you're a busy person. I just don't have time to go to the gym. So what do I do? I call my friends over at Gym Guys Orlando and they help keep me fit all year round, joined by owners Jay and Yvonne. Thank you for what you do. You're welcome. We so, love it. So for someone watching, I mean, why Gym Guys? Why do I trust you? Well, Gym Guys is going to, first of all, come to your home. It's going to be completely customized, super convenient because we're in your home. And um, it's going to make, we're going to make, make it be fun. Mm -hmm. So when you're working That's out, true. you want to make sure that it's something you can be consistent with, enjoy having us come. We become part counselor, part friend, part coach, and, and all of that. We wind up um, having a great time, but making sure that you're reaching your goals. Yeah, you're keeping it creative. We're changing things up. You come to me, we hang out, and then I, we both, you know, go our separate ways. And I've had that awesome one-on-one -on -one custom yep. tailored experience exactly. that keeps me fit. How does someone sign up? Well, someone, all you have to do is go to gymguys.com um, with a Z. And, with a Z, uh, not an S. <laughs> and the first step would be a free assessment, 100%, uh, no obligation. We'll uh, do a light workout, make sure we understand how your body works, and we'll talk to you about nutrition, health history. You're going to love it, and it's a fantastic way to get started. You also get some benchmarks to know where you're at today so we can monitor your performance. Because that's important, monitor for your sure. progress. I know I've come a long way since I started with Gym Guys. Well, I appreciate you. Thanks for keeping me fit. Thanks for keeping him fit, too. Do yourself a favor and call Gym Guys Orlando today. Your debt does not have to control your life. You have the power to potentially lower or even eliminate your debt. I'm attorney Justin Clark. Call me now for a free consultation or visit youhavepower.com and take back control of your financial life. Welcome back to the show. We continue talking about what your children would like to see in your house, whether you're building a house, buying a house, rehabbing your house. What do your kids really want? What makes them happy? The list here from the kindergarten class at St. Peter's is uh, makes it really simple for you. You don't have to spend a lot of money. Uh, joined by my good friend, Alicia Lopez, Ocala Realty World. The, welcome, by the way. How are you? Okay. But I think the important part for parents to know is that buying is going to be better than renting mostly for me because we're going to stay there longer. But what we have found is there are a lot of families that are being priced out of the winter parks, the Orlando's, mm -hmm. even the winter gardens, they're getting priced out because obviously the price of houses have gone way up. Interest rates have gone way up, although they've come down a little bit. And sometimes people just stay renting because they can't afford to buy a house in this current market. You live in Ocala. Mm -hmm. You love Ocala. The market in Ocala, Alicia, is just plain different. Mm -hmm. How much more affordable is it? It's still about 40% less than Orange County. 40% less. So mm -hmm. this allows you, if you're renting right now, it allows you to buy a house 40% less. This is a huge difference. This makes a huge difference on your PITI payment every month, principal, interest, taxes, and insurance. At the end of the day, we know how much money we make, so we know exactly what we can spend on our mortgage every month without being house poor. And Ocala's close. Ocala's beautiful. Ocala reminds me of Tennessee. Mm -hmm. What is it like living in Ocala? It's quiet. I mean, <laughs> it's not like quiet that there's nobody there because there are people and it's growing, but it's just a different way of life. It's yeah. a lot more laid back. The people are a little more friendly, I they would are. say. They are. Mm -hmm. they, they are. I love coming to visit you because the people are friendly. I grew up in Tennessee. It feels like Tennessee. Mm -hmm. I love it. Here's what I'm going to do. I will put a QR code on the screen right now for you. It will connect you directly with Alicia. Just take out your phone, scan the QR code. She will send you listings as they come up whether you want to buy a house to live in it in the Ocala, Marion County area, or if you want to invest there with the World Equestrian Center, people are investing in real estate in Ocala and they're making money renting these places as well. Now, you just built a house. Mm -hmm. And I know when you build a house, you are thinking, okay, uh, what can I add to this house to make my children like it? You know, what, what are my children gonna love in this house? I asked the kindergarten class here what they wanted, and it's more simple than I actually thought. I mean, what mm -hmm. do you think children are really looking for in a house? Oh, I agree with the yeah. entire list, and it is simple. I think as parents, sometimes we overcomplicate things and think of what 
we want yeah. for them, not necessarily what they want, but uh, just to all be together. So any space in the house that everybody could congregate together and hang out is going to be good for the family. I agree. So here, here I'll have some more here of the, what the kids from St. Peter's are like. The refrigerator, which <laughs> I, look, I'm, I'm with you on that one. My room and playroom are, are always right up there on the top of the list. These things don't cost money. I mean, mm -hmm. it's literally maybe make a, a, a nice paint job in, in the room to make it cool. These things cost very little money. We're not talking about putting in a huge pool. We're talking about things that are affordable for parents to actually do. My room, my playroom, the living room, my bedroom, <laughs> uh, the, the living room, bedroom, kitchen, which is one of my favorites, of course. And I love the white chair in my living room where I practice my words, because mm -hmm. I know they do words there too. How do you really, Alicia, make a house into a home for children? What are some things that you can do to make a house, when you first buy it, feel like home? Well, something that I just realized by us building in our previous home, we didn't have carpet in the bedrooms. Oh. And we had, you know, wood floors with a rug, and now we have carpet, and I was so against it. But I lost that battle, so I threw in the towel, and I actually love it. And the, really? The kids love it, the whole family loves it, because everyone's in each other's rooms, like cr rolling around the floor, hanging out, sitting. So something as simple as just carpet I haven't in the thought about this, but mm -hmm. I have certainly been part of this debate before. And, and something about Florida is we mm -hmm. always want uh, hardwood floors, tile floors, mm -hmm. and it seems like people in Florida don't like carpet at all. But what you're saying is that the carpeting has made your new house feel like home. Yep. Absolutely, yes. Really? Yeah. What is what is more expensive normally, carpet or mm -hmm. a tile or wood floor? Well, definitely wood. Yeah. Some tile for sure. And yes, the carpet is definitely less expensive. You know, like a nice cushy padding in yeah. there and everybody's just hanging out on the floor. It's great. See, that makes sense to me. I, yeah. I, it, it does feel a little bit more cozy. Mm -hmm. And you know, maybe in the, in the living room or kitchen, you can still have your tile, I mm -hmm. guess, right? Yeah. What room should we look to carpet as opposed to tile? The bedroom. The bedroom. Mm -hmm. Okay. What yeah. about the closet? Nah. No. <laughs> Maybe the kids' rooms. Yeah. The ki okay. like master closet. No, I'm not a fan. <laughs> yeah. And again, carpet isn't that expensive, is it? No. I mean, it's definitely gone up. Has it? Yeah, but it's still more affordable than a lot of hard surfaces. Yeah, mm -hmm. but it feels maybe more safe, especially that cushy carpet feels mm -hmm. more safe for children, I think, than yeah. um, than than tile. Yeah. And not as slippery. My daughter, I shouldn't tell you, she <laughs> slipped the other day. You know, running around. Mm -hmm. Like she does. I know. I think all the years with the kids, with the t uh, the wood floor in their rooms and slipping with the socks on and all the bruises and stuff, and it would have all just been resolved with carpet. Oh. Who knew? Yeah. <laughs> Good to see you. Thanks so much. Thank you. Check out Alicia Lopez Ocala Realty World right now. She will send you listings that are on the market right now. A hey, special thank you to the kids, the kindergarten class, Miss Barber's class over at mm -hmm. St. Peter's. Both of my daughters have gone there now. St. Peter's has been a blessing in my life. Miss Barber, thank you so much for taking care of Mila. Thank you to our amazing crew and our amazing studio audience here today. Mostly, thank you. See you again next week for more You Have Real Estate. The proceeding was a paid advertisement. The views expressed were the sole responsibility of the advertiser.